Dodge is a powerful vehicle that affects the chemicals in the brain which may give you the feeling of immortality. Dodge is not recommended for individuals who have strong ties to social networks or are obsessed with mobile games. You should not use Dodge if you are allergic to adrenaline, endorphins, burnouts, or freedom. Dodge is highly addictive. Even one test drive of Dodge may lead to irreversible changes in your life. Dodge has been known to make the voices in your head louder and has the ability to shift perceptions and burn bridges. Dodge may impair your ability to obey the rules and respect social conventions. People with gluten intolerance, political aspirations, or lack of self-control should use caution when operating Dodge. Do not use Dodge if you are pregnant or do not want to get pregnant. Dodge may cause loss of inhibitions and in some cases bodily functions. Side effects include shortness of breath, increased blood flow to the genitals, and angry neighbors. Dodge has been known to frighten wild animals and show dogs in equal measure. Dodge Brothers Motor Company is not responsible for any decisions made behind the wheel of Dodge. Consult physician, psychiatrist, and the Holy Trinity before driving Dodge. Consider yourself warned. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire! Morning, everybody. Morning. I hope everybody's seen that commercial before. We've run it a couple of times already, so um, if you have seen it, I hope you like it. Um, domestic, not domesticated. That's our Dodge brand tagline, and it captures the passion, the attitude, and the spirit of the Dodge brand. Domestic, not domesticated, embodies what Dodge stands for as an American performance brand. Now, if you're just a casual observer, that probably doesn't make a lot of sense. But if you're one of our owners, if you're one of our intenders, if you're one of our enthusiasts, if you're one of the people that's here at Woodward this week, it makes all the sense in the world. So thank you. Thank you for being with us here at Woodward to kick off Cruise Week. This is a big week for us. We've got a couple of important events for us as a brand. The second one we'll get to in a minute. But the first one is to talk about these cars. Today, we're unveiling two special edition enthusiast packages. Two cars that, quite frankly, already exist in the marketplace today, but two new special editions of those cars. So we probably could have launched these at our What's New event a couple of weeks ago out at Chelsea. But we thought, you know what, let's do something special for these cars. Let's do something different and make them a little bit different in our reveal of these cars and take them out of what's new. Because, to be honest, the Charger and the Challenger represent over 40% of all muscle cars sold in the US. That is a big, big accomplishment. But you know, I'm not sure what that even means anymore. Because if you think about it, it used to be very simple, very clear. It was a Mustang, a Camaro, a Charger, and a Challenger. And enthusiasts would pick their favorite. And from there, the bragging rights would start, the one-upsmanship, the bench racing. It was clear on where this was all headed. But it's gotten a little cloudy. It's not as clear as it used to be because our competitors have decided to switch gears. They've gone in a different direction. They've gone to smaller cars, lighter cars, more track-focused cars, cars that are quite honestly trying to be more sports car and less muscle car. And that's not a bad thing. Those are great cars. It's just a different thing. That leaves Dodge in a very unique situation, a very unique place in the marketplace with the bigger car, with the more GT car, with the more everyday usable car. We like that positioning because that's the original positioning of what a muscle car was all about. And that gives us what we think is a great position in the marketplace. And it makes Woodward the perfect place to launch cars like this. Because 1.5 million people will be here for Cruise Week. 1.5 million people will be here celebrating everything that they love about performance. And you know, while they're here, that route that they're going to be traveling, there isn't a single apex, hairpin turn, or S-turn. That's how people are using these cars. That's how people are enjoying these cars. That is a perfect positioning for us because these two cars really celebrate what was race cars back in the day for us. They were homologation cars for the brand. But today, our interpretations of them are more focused on real world performance, real world driving dynamics, and how people are using their cars today with a style and attitude that will set them apart in any enthusiast venue anywhere in the world. What these cars are not, they are not autonomous. They are not hybrids. They do not get 50 miles per gallon. And you can't summon them with your smartphone. But what they can do is maybe remind you of why you fell in love with driving in the first place. And maybe get your kids to stop Snapchatting long enough to take a drive with you to nowhere on a Friday night 
with the windows down, the radio up, and the exhaust screaming into the night. That's what these cars are all about. And that's domestic, not domesticated. So the first car we want to look at today perfectly embodies that. The new 2017 Charger Daytona. Now, this is a really interesting car. There are two versions of this. One is being unveiled outside right now as we speak. There are two versions, a 5.7 liter version and a 6.4 liter 392 version. Now, if you're a real expert on our product plan, you look at this, you say, uh, you just screwed up, Tim. That's not a 392. Yes, it is. This is the first time ever that we're using the full SRT appearance package on a 5.7. Now, for about $3,000 over the price of an RT Plus, you are going to get a lot in this package. You're going to get the full SRT appearance, the SRT hood, the full SRT front end, SRT rear end, and the side soles that pull it all together. You're going to get a 20 by 9 inch wheel, bigger than we've ever used on a 5.7 with 245 F1 tires and a functional Mopar cold air intake. On the inside, you'll get a chance to look at it in a second, really cool accents. Leather and suede Daytona stitch seats, fantastic looking interior package, and new bezels inside. Get a chance to look at those closer in a minute. Now, if you think about what that's going to give you from an advantage standpoint in the marketplace, there are all of these things that people do to their cars today. The two things that they do first are cold air intakes, car has it, and a cap back exhaust. So one very important thing, brand new for 17 that we haven't told anybody yet, is every 5.7 in a Charger and Challenger now every 5.7 comes with a two and three quarter inch SRT electronic exhaust never on the 5.7 before. So if you think about that customer, they buy a 5.7, they put a cat back exhaust on it, they put a cold air intake on it. With labor and tax, it's about 2,000 bucks. For 3,000 bucks, they're gonna get all that, plus all of the SRT appearance, plus SRT leather seats, plus all of the graphics that come with the Daytona. The satin black hood graphic, roof, and tail. Unbelievable value in the marketplace. Now you go to the 6.4, the value is just as amazing. On the 6.4, we take the car and we add the big, huge two-piece rotors and six-piston Brembo brakes. May sound familiar, that's the brake package off a of Hellcat on the 6.4. We also add 20 by nine and a half inch lightweight forged aluminum wheels and two 75 Pirellis. May also sound familiar, that's the wheel and tire package off a of Hellcat. So what you're going to get with the 392 is essentially what's today's scat pack plus a leather SRT seat plus Hellcat wheels and tires plus Hellcat brakes plus a functional cold air intake all for under $45,000. Unbelievable value in the marketplace. Now the next car, I'm really excited about this car as well. This car also pays homage to one of our race cars in the past one of our homologation cars. This is the 2017, you probably already guessed it because you saw the car outside, TA. This also comes in a 5.7 and a 6.4 392. Both cars are absolutely identical on the exterior appearance and absolutely amazing. Satin black hood, roof, and deck lid on both cars. This is real, this is not for the show. Optional Mopar hood pins unbelievable nod to the past. A functional cold air intake. This hood is ducted just like on our shaker car, ducted to the Hellcat air box. Now one other thing that we took from the Hellcat is you remember the air catchers, the false headlights. This car takes that to the next level. We have dual air catchers that are functional and feed cold air to the air box. So you've got cold air intake here, a Mopar cold air intake, and the dual air catchers. But We've also taken that to the next level with a signature nighttime lighting. This car actually has the air catchers lit inside. So as the car's coming towards you at night, it almost looks 
like you can see inside the engine compartment of this car. It's absolutely amazing. You need to get up and take a look at it when we're done here. In addition to that, you get similar features that you get on the Daytona. You get the Super Track Pack, performance suspension, steering, and brakes. You get the 20 by 9s and the 245s, the bigger wheels and tires. And you get the interior package with SRT seats wrapped in houndstooth cloth. For those of you that know about our heritage, you know the houndstooth is a very heritage cloth for this car. So absolutely amazing package. You then step up to the 392. The 392 is very similarly equipped. The 392 is going to have all of the appearance, all of the cold air intake functions, and 110 more horsepower, and Hellcat wheels and tires, and Hellcat brakes, and SRT seats. So if you think about that for a second, you're basically getting what you know today to be the Scat Pack, but with SRT seats, Hellcat wheels and tires, Hellcat brakes for, again, under $45,000. Absolutely amazing value in the marketplace. Now, these cars fit in perfectly here on Woodward, which brings me to my next event that we're going to have this week. And this one we're really excited about because we want all of you to attend this event as well. And we want you to invite your readers and your viewers to attend this as well. On Friday, we're going to move up, up the road a little bit, to Pontiac. And we are partnering with Roadkill Nights. Roadkill Nights, powered by Dodge, is going to have the first ever street legal drag racing on Woodward Avenue. We are shutting down Woodward Avenue all day on Friday, and we are going to drag race. And we're not just going to race, we're going to throw a party up there. M1 Concourse is going to be Dodge for the day. We're going to have over 1,000 cars on display. We're going to have thrill rides in Hellcats and Vipers. Anybody that's never been in a Hellcat or a Viper can come right seat in the car, get the thrill of their life. Drag racing, open to the public. If they've already enrolled, it's already filled. Um, and admission is free. Anyone can come and enjoy this. When we did it last year, we did it in a parking lot at the Silver Dome. With a little bit of advance warning, we had 10,000 people show up. We have no idea how many people are going to show up Friday. This could be huge. It's going to run from noon to 10 and probably go a little bit later than that. So plan on getting there early. I don't know if this is ever going to happen again. But quite honestly, it's amazing that they let us shut down Woodward during Dream Cruise to street race. So don't think, hey, I'm going to go next year. This is it. This is the one chance. Get up there and be part of history. Thank you. Yeah, Tony. Tony raised his hand, so I guess I'm taking questions. What, yeah. <laughs> what does it cost you guys to close Woodward and, uh, and do this? Well, actually, um, well, we're working with um, the 10 Network. We're working with the Roadkill Night guys, and they're actually putting on the event, so they could probably give you the details of that. We're the sponsor of the event. So it says Roadkill Nights powered by Dodge. So we're the sponsor of the Roadkill event. Um, and also, one thing I forgot to mention is it's open to any brand. It's open to everybody. So this is not a Dodge event. It's open to Chevy, Ford, Volkswagen, whatever. I mean, we had a guy racing a Beetle last year. We had a guy racing a Fiero last year. Um, so it's open to everybody. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we expect a lot of fast cars. We're giving away $19,000 in prize money this year for the fastest Dodge. Um, so I'm already hearing about uh, some really fast cars turning out for this. Are you still back or Hellcat? I'm sorry? Um, we're in much better shape on Hellcat. We actually have some in dealer stock now. Uh, we have probably, we have 2,400 dealers across the country, and we probably have maybe, maybe 2,000. So we don't really have one per dealer, uh, but we're getting into a much better situation to be able to fill those orders. Now, we, have, we do have some people, to be fair, that want very specific cars that they put on order that they are still waiting a little while for those. But if you're open to the dealer selection, there are some out there. Today, they're on this car. And, and, and when, you, when you get up and take a look at it, you'll see that it says TA on the inside. So it's very specific to this model. Um, we start taking orders in September and October. They'll be in dealerships in the fourth quarter this year. Um, I don't think we have any drivers, do we? Where's Kristen? We don't have any drivable ones, right? These are just going to be on display. Kristen says you can't drive them. <laughs> but it, you know what? 
depending on uh, what kind of coverage you want. Maybe I'll bend that rule. <laughs> that, that's, shock, that's shocking, Tim. Uh, in the back. <laughs> No, um, I, I do Chrysler, Dodge, and Fiat. Any other questions? All right, please get up, take a good look at these cars, and also the 6.4, 392 versions are outside. Take a look at those as well. Thank you, everybody.